Okay, I'm gonna start this out by saying don't say anything because it looks messy in the background. It's not my half of the room, don't worry about it. Mind your business. Mind your business. All right, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the five best things that I've found in the first month of living at college. If you didn't know, I'm currently enrolled at UW Oshkosh and I'm an RTF major. Don't forget to go down, subscribe right now. Why wouldn't you? It's free. It's free. You have no reason not to. And leave a like for good luck this year in the 22-23 school year. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I think is the best thing, if I if you see me keep looking over here, it's because I, I literally just wrote down the five best things uh, about college. The first best thing about college, in my opinion, is the freedom of being out on your own. So what I mean by that is like, in high school, you're very, you're very tied down to like living with your parents or you can't just like go out and do things. You gotta like ask. So being in college, you know, you get that like a little bit of freedom of, I wanna stay up until 12.30 playing video games. So you do it. And the second reason that I think that's like the freedom of being out on your own is the best is cause like, I can tell you it's not cause of the loud cars outside. That's, it's a given. The second best thing about being out on your own, in my opinion, is like you're gonna learn a little bit about yourself, which is I'll get to later on in the video, but you kinda learn who you are. Um it's one of those things that like is really important for personal growth. But yeah, that's like that's about all I got to say about that one. The second best thing about college is that there's many different things that you can get involved in. So like for example in high school there's a select amount of things that you can get involved in here there's a club for literally everything in college in general there's a club for everything and there's so many different opportunities for you to get involved that it's kind of overwhelming um but there's definitely many things to get involved in and that's like one of the best things because if you have more options to get involved then that way you aren't stuck in your room all the time and you're you're out meeting new people which is part of the college experience stuff like that and I just think that like, the fact that there's literally a club for any of your interests, that's a big part of going to college. Um, there's many opportunities that can come from it. They're great resume builders. Sorry this video is kind of brief. I just kind of wanted something that would like get me back in the groove of things. Um, I do have some other stuff that's gonna be coming up soon that I've worked on, so keep a lookout for that. And uh, you know, if you're, you're liking the video, make sure you stick around. All right, the third thing that I think is the best and this one might be a little more personal to me just cause like what I did prior to coming to college. But like right now I'm already in classes that I care about. I tested out of a lot of stuff. Most important thing, make sure you take your placement tests. Um, placement tests are really important. They put you where you're supposed to be. You're kind of dumb not to. I mean, it's like, it's one of those things. It's just like, you do it. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, but yeah, so like for me personally, um, like I said earlier, I'm going into radio, TV and film and I got lucky because I already took my my lab class in high school through Oshkosh. Um, I did AP classes, which if you're about to go into college, like in the next year or so, I'd say take as many AP classes. No, scratch that. I'd say take at least one AP class that you can get like some of your gen ed stuff out of the way. Or if you have CAP options or whatever it's called by you available make sure to take those because even though it's kind of expensive as like an upfront cost um it's definitely worth it in terms of getting the credits already done so when you come into college you already have them done and you can just continue on to your your major whatever that is or you can take some classes that maybe you wouldn't normally be able to take um like sound interesting but like like i said i i essentially have two gen ed classes this semester um, and the other ones are all ones that count towards my, towards my degree for like a major credit. So that's really nice coming into college, knowing that I have that credit already. And I'd suggest that for anyone that's getting into college or going to be going to college in the next couple of years. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my third favorite thing about college or my third best thing about college. Um, my fourth, the fourth the, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth best thing about college is the fact that 
you get to really see life through a different lens. Um, for me personally, I came from a really small town. Uh, there's not a lot of people, literally nothing to do there. Um, I've known everybody my whole life. And coming to a big city for a college really made it so that I had to get out of my comfort zone. Um, and it's it's nice, you know, obviously having things that you can go do. It's nice to, uh, you know, meet new people. It's nice to be in a different atmosphere if you're coming, especially if you're coming from a small town. Or even if you're coming from a big town, I'd assume that, like, coming to a different city, living there, having, like, that be your place of residency now, um, I can imagine that, like, even though even though it's like not different in the sense of how many people are there, um, it still could be a culture shock for sure. And that's kind of what it was for me it was like coming here, I was like, wow, like this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. There's so much to do here. But like, I think that like being able to see life through a different lens really like gives you a better appreciation for not only where you came from, but what you have to look forward to like later on in life. That's my, that's my fourth best thing about college. Not included, but Starbucks. Starbucks is an added added benefit of college. All right, and to wrap this whole thing up, my last best thing about college would have to be like learning more about yourself. You know, um, at home, you really like, you are who, who you've been all these years, but like maybe you've been putting on like a front or, you know, you, you're like, yeah, I think I know who I am, but <laughs> let me tell you, when you get to college, you learn that person may not be the same person that you thought you were. For me, um, I feel like when I was still in high school, I was like, yeah, you know, like, I'm like the popular kid, so like everybody knows who I am, and like I don't have to try to make people happy or like impress them. And it's like, now here, you really gotta learn like, hey, I'm nothing here. I haven't spent the last 13 years with these people. It really teaches you to like be patient with yourself as well as teaches you to be more forgiving when it comes to like messing up on something. Like if you do bad on a test, you know, you gotta learn to be like, just brush it off. You got so much more time. Um, even though it's not like a lot of time in the grand scheme of things, but it's still like enough time that you always have the chance to turn things around and you get to learn, you know, this decision gives me this consequence, you know? If I don't go to this class, if I don't go to this class, then stop. If I don't go, if I don't go to this class, then that means that this happens. Or if I don't study for this test, then, you know, I'm not going to do good on the test. Which like, yeah, obviously, but also in high school, you don't really have to study, you know, like maybe for exams or finals, I guess, maybe for finals, you have to study like your tests and stuff you really can get away with not studying but that being said then you get to college and you don't have those study skills you don't know how to study and it's really just a bad situation at all so those are my top five best things about college from the first month that i've been here obviously this could change as i go through i might discover there's something else that i think might be the best but as of right now first month in I think that this is like a good list of things that I've come up with. So if you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, make sure to subscribe down below, drop a like on the video, leave a comment for maybe something else that you wanna say or something you agree with or don't disagree with or if you just wanna say hey. Um, and yeah, with that, see you in the next one. Car honking in the back. Get used to that. Especially if you don't got air conditioning because <laughs> that's what you hear all the time. Windows gotta be open. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Low, moving the birds now. Crowd shooting my shot. New flow. Keep it under wraps like bubble. When you talk tough, speak up. Don't bubble. Send shots his way. They huddled, splashed him down like he fell in a puddle. Uh, gun kick back. Don't fumble. They said nothing had.